you can never keep the same people doing the same things all the time and accept, expect a different answer. You're just going to get the same answer, but it's going to get worse over time. Because the pace at which the world is changing is going to mean the same people doing the same thing leads to the same outcome, which is not going to be good enough in the future. But let's remind ourselves of the scale of change that we're dealing with, and therefore the scale of the opportunity for those who get this right. We know that our world is changing because of technology. It's automating and people are beginning to apply artificial intelligence. A concept that's been around for at least 50 years is now being applied and actually means something. How do we reach people we never connected with before? How do you build a relationship that endures over time and take people on a journey that you're going to be part of until they're ready to join you? One of the phrases that has stuck in my mind is never stop learning. I think too many of us think we sort of reach a point in life when we've sort of got it. That's just not true. And we've done lots of research to establish just how not true it is. I think these leadership models are far more important than just words on a page. But they only come to life when people live and act accordingly. And so they have to be tied to the way you evaluate and celebrate people. What's your metric for success? And as you reflect on all of that, each of you will have a story that will make you feel that you're either a role model or in some way making a difference. One of the things that I was sent recently uh, was a book, and it was called What Got You There Isn't Going to Be What Keeps You There. And I read the book, and I had two views about it. One view was it was spot on, because the world is changing and the roles that we're all playing are changing. On the other hand, if you don't know what got you there, how on earth are you going to be able to adapt and change in a way that's going to mean you're successful? So I think leaders dealing with transformation have to do two things. Be incredibly restless and demanding of people changing and of themselves changing as leaders too because it's not, it's not going to work if you say, I want all of you to change, but by the way, I'm really happy with the way I do things, so I'm just going to keep on going. So you've got to show that you change too. But do it from a position of know yourself. Understand what it is that you bring that you want to keep. And I think you've got to start there because if you keep telling everybody just change everything, that's not going to work. But if you understand what it is your team is really good at individually and collectively, and then what the changes that you want to be, you've got much more chance of success. So I think the first rule is know yourself. Know yourself and know your team and know the people really well and understand what they're great at.